Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my continuation. This is actually a continuation of the last video that I did about Idima. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for staying with my channel and thank you for supporting me. Thank you. So today, uh, okay, this day, I'm holding this beautiful booklet in my hand. It is written, uh, Government of Kenya, Ministry of Health, Mother and Child, Health Handbook, Afia Mama and Amtoto. This is actually for you pregnant mom. So these other people don't uh, go in for this book unless you're planning to get pregnant. I'm having this booklet with me. It's actually for pregnant moms. For me as a mom, I use it for nine months. Then for my child, this will be a continuation of its book. I don't know the gender, but let me just say its book booklet for the next 59 months. 59 months means uh, five years. On that case, I want to talk about the ANC profile, the antenatal care profile. What are these tests that are being done to a pregnant mom? The moment you find out that you're pregnant, you've just confirmed, ready for this baby, you're about to start the clinic. Let me make it easier for you. So you're going for the clinic, uh, or you're going to the hospital, and then you're being told these are the tests that are going to be done on you. The HB, HB means the hemoglobin level, sorry, the blood grouping, the lizard, serology, TB screening, IPT, isoniazid, 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 that's given, and then next visit, uh, HIV, uh, hypnosis, and then couple counseling. Why are these things done, if you've ever asked yourself? They're very important to you as a pregnant mom. To start with the HB, HB is the hemoglobin level. The hemoglobin level for a pregnant mom, those are these uh, where they're checking the HB level, the, the hemoglobin level in the red blood cells. Uh, these are tests done on blood, of course. The, we have the HB, blood grouping, lizards, serology. These are the blood tests done. They check a sample of your blood and they carry out these tests. The HB level for a pregnant mom, I think it should be around 11.3 to 18 point something there. It is done. Pregnancy exposes one to anemia. So if your HB level is below 11, this is the first time you go into the clinic and your HB is just that low. It is early and measures can be, can be put in place. Don't You don't have to worry like, oh, now my HB was 10. Um, I think I have a problem. No. Don't check, don't panic, your medical personnel will advise you. You just basically have to do a lot of um, blood boosting foods, you have to do a lot of iron, yeah? Iron giving calves foods, that is, you have to do a lot of vegetables. Do fruits to boost your HP. Remember you having your blood, and then you have another thing growing inside you that needs blood to grow. So, you need to have your HB level high. And also, if your HB level is low, you will experience this sort of dizziness. You might just end up falling. Uh, that is quite dangerous for you and the baby. So, why you have your HB level done is to find out if your blood is low or high. And if it's low, we actually base on the low side. If it is low, you are just advised given those iron deficiency, I mean iron boosting foods, and it will actually get well. I hope you take note of that, so don't allow your HB to be low. Eat a lot of vegetables, do a lot of these uh, irons, iron boosting foods, and it will actually be well. It's not really a major crisis, so there's nothing much to worry about. Blood grouping. Why is blood grouping important during pregnancy? And I'll actually talk about blood grouping hand in hand with the research. Blood grouping is done in order for you to know what type of blood group you are. If I'm an O positive person, of course, if I need transfusion, I'll just know um, I need this type of blood from this person, so it will be much easier for them to get blood for me. And I think we are trying to erase that error of whereby women don't go in for the for the 
these clinics for the maternal for the maternal clinics. So advise these mamas, these ladies from uh, mostly from the rural areas, they, they, that's those that don't love um, clinics. Tell them to go. Actually, the ANC, this mother to child, maternity is free. In any government facility, it is free of what I'm sure of. Go for these visits. Get checked. Know the health of, know the health of your baby. Don't wait until the last time you're going to deliver. You've never gone in for those visits. It won't be fair enough to your child. Just have a normal bath. I mean, just have a normal baby. And this is very important for you. So the blood grouping is done to check in case of any transfusion it will be much easier for you then also for the blood group uh, we have the razors down below the blood group razors very important i've had experiences of uh, miscarriages yeah miscarriages i can actually call it an abortion but uh, this is whereby there is a uh, delivery of products of conception below 28 weeks of gestation some say 20 weeks some say 28 weeks so i'm not sure which way to go but as long as this baby is delivered before its term before its duration it could be a reason problem if you as a father your husband is a reason positive you are a reason negative Definitely that child will be a results positive and for me if I'm a results negative and my child is a results positive There's no going to bond But that does not mean that I'm not going to carry my pregnancy. No, no, no no. There are measures that are going to be put in place once it's detected early. Ah, trust me. Things will be fine There is an injection called the anti-D That is given That is why you have to go to the clinic because once these anti-Ds are administered to you it will prevent you the mothers you are the, the my blood with my babies from reacting so there's no uh, reaching those antibodies my child will be safe because i have a protective mechanism against harming my child that is why i have to go to the clinic for this anc profile done on me and also men uh the moment your wife is pregnant just confirm your blood group if it ain't compatible or rather if having those results issues then it will be much easier for you to rule out these cases are we together yes we do the ipt why are we given those malaria prophylaxis malaria is one of the leading causes of death in pregnancy uh, for babies malaria will expose you to anemia when you deliver a baby the baby will be you, have, you might have a premature, not you might have, but you will have, you have, you will have a premature birth, a, I mean a premature baby, uh, maybe a low birth weight, an underweight baby. So, these things are free. If you go to any government facility, you will be given this IPT. I won't pronounce the name for the prophylaxis because it will make me, uh, it will the SP alpha something pro something please i'm not going to pronounce that word because this really gives me hard time we will be given that and in hand in hand in hand with that we will be given also the mosquito nets always sleep under mosquito nets you've seen these adverts you've seen these on billboards the moment you visit those the the, the clinics that are written there tafadhali lala chinia netiliotibiwa why to prevent yourself from malaria to prevent your, your unborn child don't make, don't have a miscarriage don't have a low birth weight don't go into anemia just because of these simple things that you could have actually prevented are we together again thank you HIV ah, whether you like it or not the moment you start these clinics you will have the HIV test done I won't just look like look at you like mm. She looks positive, she looks negative. No, 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 no. This is one of the major tests that I've actually done for pregnant mothers. We do this to prevent mother to child transmission. We do this to prevent you from infecting your baby. And actually trying to campaign a zero HIV infection in babies, in the unborn child. 
Now these pregnant moms who are positive, they give birth to normal, healthy, negative babies. So have this test. And it's actually written here, reactive, non-reactive, not tested. So your personnel, whichever the medical person handling you will actually just uh, indicate here. It is that simple. And if you find out that you are positive, for the first time you encounter that you are positive, you have to do the counseling. If you are with your spouse, you have to do the couple counseling. And it's not a strange thing. HIV is there. It is a killer disease, but not much. But of course, one of the killer diseases in our developing countries. Uh, so you're just trying to curb, curb with this case to avoid further problems, to avoid further spreading, further infection. So just allow yourself to do all these tests. And if you happen to have a discordant couple, maybe the mother is positive, maybe the father is positive. Of course, a couple of counseling should be done. Pregnancy requires support. So most of the cases, not really most of the cases, sorry. But if you find out that you, the mother, is pregnant and your husband is not, you are the carry, of course. Couple of counseling should be done. This man, don't leave your woman because she is positive. She is carrying your baby. Be there with her. Couple counseling will be done. And trust me. You will survive. You won't get infected uh, the moment you you get those uh, advices, those counseling, the way to go about it. It will just be all right for you. The last test that is done is urinalysis, whereby your urine is tested. Mm, yes. Urinalysis. Being a pregnant mom, you are at risk of so many things. Especially the likes of urinary tract infection. I don't know. But yeah, you get so much exposed to. Or not really a pregnant woman, but being a woman. When you look at the incidence of uh, UTI, the ratio of men to women. Women are much higher. We are much higher than men. So we just have to have this analysis done on you. And we basically check out for three things. We do the proteins, check out for proteins, check out for ketones, and also check out for an infection. Remember, the proteins come hand in hand with the infection. So if you see uh, there's urine, there's actually a protein in urine. It actually means uh, uh, your body is actually trying to fight a certain infection. That is why it's there. And the most probable incident it is the UTI. Most of it, it is the UTI. And then the ketones, it is not really a complete an issue, but uh, if it occurs more often, it gets to be a concern. And if you say you have uh, proteins in urine, as I said, then more probably must be there an infection. And with this treatment, is simple. Just have to administer simple antibiotics to out the problem with the ketones i said this way by your body don't stab yourself because it comes very close with the problem of you starving your body whereby your body now starts using up the fat that is reserved uh, you are not providing to your body enough energy so it is now breaking down the, the fat that are in the body reserved in, in the production of uh, energy so in this case, and the causes of ketones in urine, maybe you are dehydrated. So during pregnancy, remember to take in a lot of water. You're skipping a meal, you're not having a meal on time. You, yeah, skipping a meal, not having a meal on time. You having foods low in starch. So do, do more often of starch, but don't overdo. Just have that balanced diet. Have a timetable of, of your foods if possible. Like today, I'm having this kind of starch with this cup protein, vitamin, a fruit, yeah, that way. And then, yeah, I think that the case of having ketones in urine. So keep yourself hydrated because dehydration is one of the causes of ketones in urine. Keep yourself hydrated. Have a bottle of water by your side. If you're at work, 
remember to have your bottle of water and it shall be well guys that marks the end of my talk today and i hope you found it amazing thank you so much for my for supporting my channel and thank you so much for staying with me keep subscribing share my videos leave a comment in case of any concern i always leave my handouts down below in the description box i'll see you on sunday thank you so much god bless have a have good morals and remember health is wealth until next time bye god bless and see you